integrate uh, x over x to the x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus 1 dx. Okay, so yeah, this is a fourth degree polynomial in the denominator, so I'm going to do a substitution. Uh, I'm going to let x to the power or x squared is equal to uh, m. Okay, so now differentiating both sides with respect to x or d by dx of x squared is equal to, or this is the derivative operator, uh, taking the derivative operator on both sides, d by dx of x squared is equal to d by dx of m. So d by dx of x squared is 2x, and this is nothing but dm by dx. And if you make dx the subject, dx is 1 over 2x dm. So in place of dx, I can put 1 over 2x dm. And in place of x squared, I can put m. So this whole thing uh, becomes uh, x remains x over m squared plus m plus 1 over 1 over 2x dm. So this x and this x gets cancelled. So now this whole thing is in terms of m. So this is 1 over 2. This 1 over 2 I have factored out. m squared plus m plus 1. Now this I want to make a perfect square. So I have to put a quarter here because half of 1 is half of 1 is half and then square it which is 1 quarter. And as I have added quarter I've taken away quarter. So this is a perfect square and this becomes three quarter. Okay, so this is one half times m plus one half squared plus three quarters. Okay, now I want to make this one. So what I've done is I divided this by three quarter and this by three quarter. So when you're dividing a denominator by three quarter, you're multiplying by three quarters. So this goes up. Now to co counter that, I have put a four thirds here so that three quarters, if it comes up, I've got this to cancel it out. Okay, now the reason of doing this is I want a one here, which I hope you can see now. So this four third I factored out. So two goes in four twice. So that is two thirds. And this has become, and if you simplify this, uh, multiplying the whole thing by 2 is uh, 2m plus 1 over root 3. And now this is a trig substitution. Okay, and I've substituted this whole thing, 2m plus 1 over root 3 as 10 beta. So 10 beta, uh, sorry, beta would be 10 inverse of this whole thing. Okay, so this becomes integrate. Okay, now again, uh, making m the subject. Uh, I hope you can see the steps. It's quite easy, You're dividing all by 2. So m, uh, now differentiating with respect to beta, dm by d beta is root 3 over 2, tan squared beta. Now the derivative of this is 0. Because d by d beta of half is 0. Okay, that's why zero, uh, that is nothing. So this is dm is root 3 over 2, 6 squared beta d beta. So in terms, so what I've done is, this whole thing has changed, this will dm, I can write as root 3 over 2, 6 squared beta d beta, and this I can write as, write as tan beta. So I've rewritten the same thing, 2 over 3, 1 over this plus uh, 1 over 1 over 2m plus 1 over root 3 the whole squared plus 1. So this is 10 beta. So this is 10 squared beta plus 1 and this is dm. Because dm is root 3 over 2 6 squared beta. And you should know 1 plus 10 squared beta is 6 squared beta. So this and this gets cancelled. So let me remove the whole thing. So this is nothing but 1. This, uh, so this and this gets cancelled. So here, yeah, mm, let me go back. So this, oh, mm, this and this gets cancelled, and this is root three over three is this three can be written as root three times root three. So this three and this three gets cancelled. So that is one over root three times one d beta. 
and uh, integration of 1 is with respect to beta would be beta and that is 10 inverse of 2m because beta is what is beta beta is 10 inverse of 2m plus 1 over 3 so this uh, differentiates to sorry this this integrates to this and beta is 10 inverse of this but what is m m is x squared the final answer is this